Pastor, and yeah. to all the ministers, to all the saints of God in the house. It's good to be here tonight. Yeah. I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side. I'm glad I'm being saved. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Yeah. The power of God our salvation. How many have enjoyed the revival? Yeah. Yeah. The Lord revive us again. Yeah. Come on, the Lord revive us again. Kevin Rands, a powerful man of God. I know you know. Him. And Austin says he's to introduce preaching. Just get out of the way. Amen. That's what we're going to do. Just get out of the way. I want you to open your hearts and receive what God has to say. There's a word. There's a word in the house. There's a, there's a word for tonight. Amen. Open your hearts and receive what God has to say to us through this man of God. Amen. He, he grew up and outgrew me. <laughs> Amen. Thank God that really tremendously blessed his ministry and the yeah. church there in Mississippi and uh, Oxford, Mississippi. God will bless him. Yeah. Amen. But I tell you what, God is a big God. Yes, he is. Amen. God is able to do what he's going to want to do. Yes, yes. Even here, right here, and right here tonight. Right, right. And we are the church. Yeah. When the church gets together, just look out. Yeah. Amen. So I'm going to say, as they say, uh, T.D. Jake said, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. Amen. Stand to, receive, to your feet to receive the man of God. Pastor 
Lewis Savage. Let's honor this man of God. Come on. Let's honor this man of God. Yeah. We honor you, Pastor. Great man of God. Years of service. Servant of God. I think we got a problem in this day. People love their position more than serving. They love the titles more than sign. Paul said something real important in Romans 4. He said, Paul, a servant of God, called to be an apostle. So he gave us his preference before his position. He said, I am a servant. And out of my servanthood, I got called to be an apostle. So in essence, I'm an apostle servant. For some reason, we get it mixed up. We think the higher we go, the more we ought to be served. Right. How many know the higher you go, the more you got to serve? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus said, I was the greatest of all. And, I, and when nobody, nobody out served me, so I need you to take on my attitude. Amen. Amen. We have enjoyed this revival. It's been an awesome revival. Amen. God has blessed us every night. And I certainly honor the presence of the Lord here because without the presence we're just a group of people gathered. Somebody shout it's the presence that makes the difference. I'd rather be in a small place with the presence of God than in a cathedral where he's not at. I'd rather be with God. How many rather be with God? I want to be with God here. And certainly the Lord is in low Salem. Amen. And I thank God for his presence. Amen. I want to try to sing a little bit of this song I wrote. Uh, Pastor love this song, so I'm trying to sing a little bit of it, y'all. Come, come and help me sing it. Uh, may not get it just right, but I think y'all, most of y'all have heard it, y'all can help us sing it. You know, the blood is still flowing today. Thank God for the blood. Somebody shout, thank God for the blood. There is a fountain flowing from Emmanuel's lane. Sinners plunge beneath the flow, lose all their guilt and shame. Though it happened 2,000 years ago, we just want to let you know that the blood is still flowing today.
I know I'm right about it. Amen, amen. All ministers, ask for permission. Just wave your hand. All ministers in the house, come on, wave your hand so I can see you. Come on, let's praise God for all the ministers, elders. Thank God for you tonight. I'm not going to prolong the time. I uh, don't intend to preach before you long. I was sitting in my study and I had a message all prepared, all ready to go. And the Holy Ghost said, that ain't what I said. I said, okay, God. So he changed the message. And I didn't have a lot of time to study it. But I've been preaching long enough to know. And if you change it, it's for somebody in here. God got somebody in here on his mind. And it may be for one, but how many know he went through Samaria for one woman? And that one woman changed the whole town. So whoever this is for, beside me, it's going to bless your heart. And I believe it will bless everybody's heart if you hear Amen? So uh, I'm going to deal with a subject matter tonight. Uh, to be honest, I haven't heard much preached about it at all. And uh, I think that's one reason God gave it to me because I believe this subject matter is so important to us as it concerns our life. God said he came to give us life, but how, how did he come to give it? We as saints of God ought to be living an abundant life. That doesn't necessarily mean you got to be rich. But how many know you should be more happy than sad? <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I see too many depressed saints who say they love God but walking around in the spirit of depression. That is not of God, am I right? So I want to share with you something that I believe is going to bless you tonight as we do this last night of revival. I want to read two scriptures. One is in Psalms 1 and verse 1 through 3. And then I want to skip over to the New Testament, St. John's 15. Verses 1 and 2, and then verses 5 through 7. Psalms 1, verses 1 through 3. And then we'll go over to Matthew 15. St. St. John, I'm sorry. 15, 1 and 2, and then 5 through 7. Amen. We need your prayers tonight. Amen. If you have the word, come on, let's rest to our feet. We're going to read together. Kind of familiar text, but but it's still a lot in it. Don't beat me preaching. It might be something for you ain't heard yet. So I've heard it before. How I many know God can take stuff you ain't never heard before? Out of the scripture you've been reading for all your life. I believe He's giving me something for you tonight. You have Psalms 1 and 1, say amen. amen. I'm going to read the first verse, you read the second verse, and we're going to go down to the third verse, and then we'll go to St. John. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2. Not just anybody, but the man that does those things, he shall be like a what? Tree, Tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth, what? How many want to prosper all the time? Amen. All you got to do is follow instruction. Follow instruction. Do what God say. Amen. 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 St. John 15. Let's hear what Jesus got to say. <laughs> Verses 1 and 2, then 5 through 7. If you have it, say, I got it. I got it. All right. St. John 15, 1 says, I am the true man, and my father is the husbandman. Verse 2. Again, I am the vine. You got to know who you are. He says, I'm the vine. What are you? You are the branch. Again, he 
says, he that abideth in me, and I in him, Come on. the same bringeth ETH, bringeth forth much fruit, for without me, God help me, you can do what? Nothing. You can't do nothing without me. Verse 6.
and bring forth fruit to your glory. Have your way, God. Have your way. Touch, deliver, save, set free. Do what you want to do. In Jesus' name, everybody shout amen. amen. Come on, give God one more praise. Hallelujah. Amen. What we talk about tonight? Yes. The connection factor. Be careful who you connect with. How many know when God made us, he made us relational? He made us to relate. It wasn't Adam who said it is not good for man to be alone. How many know Adam didn't say that? Who said that? God said to Adam, it is not good that man should be alone. But I had time to really work that because there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. 